by light of Himalayan lamp, I come to you at 2.40 in the morning. because I woke up, my stomach was waking me up and it's in my small intestine, it's above and all around my belly button area feeling discomfort, not pain, not gurgling, just not well and my elbows are really achy so holding this Himalayan lamp is not the best thing and I just don't feel good. I feel very toxic. So I am heating up coffee right now. Woohoo! What I wanted to do, wake up at 2.30 in the morning and do, but my body is telling me I should do it, so I'm doing it. Yeah, I know you see a lot of me like this, laying like this, for two reasons. One, because I'm laying down a lot, and two, because I'm doing coffee enemas a lot. I feel so much better after I do them. I cannot stress how much they are important for detox. If you have not really researched what Herxine actually is or die-off is, and you are doing any kind of Himalayan lamp down, and you are doing any kind of Lyme treatment, our candida treatment or uh, antifungal treatment, um, but mainly herxine from Lyme. Um, they're all bad. They all are not fun and um, cause such a toxin overload in your system that your nervous system is completely um, diluted with. Um, mitotoxins, I'm not sure if I'm saying that word correctly, but it's toxins in the nervous system and it creates such bad symptoms that it makes everything so much worse. Like they tell you that things are going to get worse before they get better, but they don't actually explain necessarily from where you're going for treatment what that actually means. Where I'm going right now, like they were the first ones to actually like let us know like what to expect and um, what we specifically needed to do. The first time I did treatment, which I realized was in 2009, so I was 21, and I was so sick. I, I was so sick that I um, ended up with my gallbladder getting taken out after two to three weeks of being in such severe pain that I was literally laying in bed just like, uh, crying as much as I could without like throwing up and couldn't have anything touching my belly couldn't even have like a shirt or a sheet touching my belly and the doctors weren't telling me anything like they weren't even answering the phone I mean it's treatment has grown so much since then so um, but I know that there are still people coming into the treatment center that say that they just went to another doctor before they came to the center and they had no idea what herxine was. They had no idea what die-off was. They'd never heard those terms. And I mean, you listen to your doctors. You trust your doctors as much as you can. It's usually people have gone through many, many doctors and have very little trust by the time that they get to the point where they're coming to the center that I'm going to and it's so unfortunate because the information is <laughs> sorry the information is out there it's just not as available as um, you know you you hope it would be and it's so hard to filter through everything and what is true and what isn't true so I didn't mean to make this a three minute spiel but I think it's extremely important to de detox because I know now when I feel this in my body that I need to do this and I have people like even like family members and friends who are concerned about the fact that like I do so many coffee enemas and like what you're putting coffee where and you know it's just it's true it's weird but the science behind it is there 
Um, it's not easy to understand, but there are a lot of things that come into the medical field that are really difficult to understand at first because it's new. It's something different. It's something different than we grew up with. And it's so, so, so extremely important to be doing all these detox things. It will make your life so much easier, so much more tolerable. And, um, I wish I would have done more even the first time I did my Lyme treatment at the center that I was at now. I did do a good fair deal of it, but I didn't know as much as I did. I learned as I went. I found out things that worked for my body, and it has made a tremendous difference. So, um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later when I actually wake up, and it's not just after 3 in the morning. <laughs> Morning. This next shot is absolutely disgusting. I will let you know when it's going to happen. It is parasites that I just passed and I'm showing them because I want people who are passing parasites, who are think they're passing parasites to see what um, this particular one looks like. I passed many different types. So in three, two, one, look away now. If you do not want to see, I will let you know when to look again. This is why I was feeling so toxic and sick. I needed to get these worms out. I know extremely, extremely disgusting, but I think it's important to see what this looks like. Um, this is one of the parasitic worms that I have. Okay, you're safe to look now. Another thing I'm gonna do right now is an oil pull. This is an Ayurvedic oil um, that is specific for my body type. There's three different types and um, not your traditional type of Western body type at all, um, but how your body processes things. And I switch it for five to 20 minutes, depending on how tired I am, what I'm doing, but I have a terrible taste in my mouth right now from all the toxins going around. And this happens every time that I have toxins in my system like this. So I'm gonna swish this for however long my body feels like it's necessary. If it's really toxic, it um, saturates the oil really fast and um, absorbs all the toxins in my mouth and um, I don't have to do it very long. So I'm assuming it'll probably be like a five minute swish and done and hopefully I can go back to bed. Ingredients you probably know, sesame oil, sunflower oil, cinnamon, lavender, nutmeg, and ashwagandha. Nanny pot you have again again. And my morning coffee is ready. Daily coffee, I should say. I use the same pot of coffee throughout the whole day. And then make a new one every morning. Still in my water. Why, hello again, my friends. Since I already have so much footage from this morning, um, from waking up so early and everything, I might just do a morning vlog separately, um, and maybe some more this afternoon, but I finally fell asleep, I think about just before five. Hi, Circa, you might say good morning too, yeah. And, um... I then woke up to my alarm at 6, and so I didn't get too much sleep. I had been sleeping really well before um, tonight, or the last two nights it had been. And <laughs> you're knocking my light over. He digs his head into the bed to be pet. And so, um, yeah, did all my morning stuff, did my um, oil pull again, and... I do that every morning and and uh, uh sorry total brain fog um yeah I do my enema and so yeah that might be a morning vlog for you guys and then we will be off to treatment they're finally out the door